Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I want to show you what a walking foot is and how to use it. A walking foot for a typical low shank machine on the inexpensive side of the spectrum is going to look something like this. And in the front you can have a standard fork toe or you can have an open toe. This one just happens to be an open toe so I have more visibility in the center of this foot. And this is the ideal foot to use if you are sewing knits as well as anything with stripes because you have these little feed dog rippers on the top and this works in conjunction with the feed dogs on your machine right here. So your fabric is sandwiched between two sets of feed dogs, the upper feed dogs and the lower feed dogs and you just get better stitching on knits and for garments with stripes, whether they be knits or wovens. So it's a little bit tricky sometimes how to use this and people don't know how to put this on if they're new to using a walking foot. So I'm going to show you how to do that. When you look at the foot, this has its own built-in shank right here. So I need to take the current shank and the foot off of the machine, not just the foot. I'm going to leave the foot on, but this, screw right here. I'm just going to unscrew it and take off the shank with the foot. So the walking foot will go around the bar and you want to make sure that the screw hole is right in between this upper prong and this bottom prong. The only thing right here is this part this is in the wrong spot. When you put on your walking foot this bar must be placed above this needle screw right here. So I have it like this and I'm going to align the prongs up so that the hole is right in the middle of those two prongs. Getting it started sometimes is the hardest part. But once you get it in, you just tighten it up with your fingers and make sure after you get it on, you use your screwdriver to tighten the screw because you don't want this getting loose from the vibration on your machine. And then when you're finished, I'll show you how this sounds. It doesn't sound like a regular foot, but I'll get my fabric under there. And then I'm ready to start sewing. But if I go slow, you can see you have feed dogs moving on the top. And it will really help you get a beautiful stitch on your knits and better overall stitching for stripes and knit garments. Don't forget to see my other sewing tips and techniques on my Cyber Sewing School YouTube channel. So please click the subscribe button and I'll see you in future videos.